Hey there viewers, welcome to Mega Projects in India part 2. In this video, we have brought to you some more mega projects that are ongoing and upcoming in India. If you haven't watched the first part of Mega Projects in India, please feel free to watch it. And before we get started, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Sabanasiri Lower Hydroelectric Power Project A project undertaken by National Hydro Power Corporation is an under construction gravity dam on Sabanasiri River which is on the border of Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. The construction started in 2007 and 60% of it has been completed as of now. The progress was hindered because the operations halted in 2011 due to stiff opposition over its potential environmental impact. Many agitations and protests were also made against the resumption of the project by students and several NGOs in Assam. The initial cost estimate of the project was at Rs 62.9 billion, but the revised estimate has gone up to three times the figure. Once completed, the power plant will be able to supply 2000 megawatt power and it will become the largest hydroelectric plant in India. India-Bangladesh Railway Link Since the partition in 1947, the transport link between India and Bangladesh has been limited. During the outbreak of Indo-Pakistan War in 1965, the only railway link between Dhaka and Kolkata was shut down and was not resumed until 2008 with the launch of Maitreya Express. To improve the cultural and commercial relations between the two countries, India and Bangladesh came to an agreement to launch India-Bangladesh railway link. The process of acquisition of land and handing it over to executing agencies in the, both the countries has been completed and an amount of Rs 580 crore has been sanctioned for the Indo-Bangladesh railway work on the Indian side. Union Minister Jitendra Singh stated that when the construction of railway line between Agartala in Tripura and Akhaura in Bangladesh will be completed, it will pave the way for running the first train from the northeast to Bangladesh on the eve of the 75th year of India's independence in 2022. Brahmaputra Express Highway Brahmaputra Express Highway is the first ever express highway project in northeast India to be built along the Brahmaputra River from Sadia in the east to Dhubri in the west in Assam. The project foresees plans of constructing highways on both the banks of Brahmaputra, thereby mitigating the impact of flood and erosion. The Union Minister for Road Transport Highways and Shipping, Nitin Gadkari, has floated the idea of Brahmaputra Express Highways an MOU was signed between the central and Assam governments in March 2017. The express highway will be 2.5 meter higher than the highest flood level of Brahmaputra and about 890 kilometers long with an estimated investment of rupees 40,000 crores. An interesting fact about this project is that the soil coming from the dredging of Brahmaputra will be utilized for the construction of the road. The highway will be access controlled and vehicles will be able to ply at very high speed. Kaladan Multimodal Transit Transport Project Kaladan Multimodal Transit Transport Project is a huge project which aims to create a multimodal mode of transport for shipment of cargo from eastern ports of India to Myanmar as well as the northeastern parts of India through Myanmar. This project will first link Kolkata port to the port of Sitwe 
Myanmar by sea, covering 539 kilometers. From Sitwe, the route will continue over River Kaladan to Western Myanmar sea town of Pletwa, covering a distance of 158 kilometers. Pletwa will then be connected to India-Myanmar border by a 110 kilometer long road. The international border will then be connected by a road to the town of Longklai in Mizoram, 100 kilometers away. The scope of this project is huge, and the construction of different sections are in different stages. Most of the work on the Myanmar side has been completed, and the construction of road project on the Indian side is ongoing. This project will make a huge difference in relations between the two nations. So that is all for today, guys. Thanks for watching, Fan Desi. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, and we'll come back with some more amazing videos. Do share the video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in our next video. Until then, take care, stay home, and stay safe.